Hi, and now in this class, we're going to see about the Minikube dashboard. So before starting the class, make sure your Minikube should be in the running status. So let me check. So you can check the status by using the Minikube status. And here you can see everything is running perfectly fine. So uh, now let's start some basic thing about the what Minikube dashboard. As you can see, the name suggests that dashboard. What does it simply mean? It simply means one, so there will be a UI, you can manage some kind of things. So it's also the same thing, like Minikube dashboard is nothing but a web-based UI interface, which is used to manage the Kubernetes cluster, okay? So now the thing is how you will use it. So for that, we have the command that is Minikube dashboard. And when you will hit enter and automatically the whatever the default browser which you have. So in our case here we have Firefox. So this Firefox will open and you will come upon on the screen. So here you can see in the dashboard we have so many things like uh, in our last class we have deployed one uh, uh, pod or one deployment was there and we had three replicas of that. Uh, okay that containerized application so here you can see ports are there replica set is one and one deployment is running so this is a workload status and the deployment you can see the nginx deployment which we had done and the three ports you can see here replica sets you can see so here you will basically get all the information and whatever thing which we have and you can easily manage the cluster here as well so here we have different sections like here we have deployment section. So here you will see the deployment that we have that is Nginx deployment. And here you can see the age is a day ago. So it means we had done it yesterday. So this is the thing. And now which uh, like uh, you will see about the node information if you need. Uh, you will need to search for nodes. So nodes is there somewhere here only. Uh, let me check. Uh, wait, let me go on the home page. Okay, here you can see the cluster. In cluster, we have nodes. So we have that mini cube as it's a single node. Okay, so that's why we have this so many labels and all mini cube is the node here. Okay, so uh, in this way, you can get so many information. Like here, you will see about the CPU information, memory information, ports uh, you have. So 12 ports we can and all those things. So moving forward, if you will see about the pods, so if you will come up on here, like here you can see a service as well. So ingress we have not discussed, so will not cover right now. So here you can see the services which we had done, that is Nginx deployment. So this is we have. And also if you want to create uh, one uh, or deploy one, would want to do one deployment, so how you can do it, you have to just click on this create button and here you can do using the YML file or you will need to write the YML uh, whole thing here. And if you want to do with the file, you can just upload the file. If you want to do with form, you can do with form as well. Here if I write the form as engine, uh, uh, what's that? Nginx, okay. And the container image we have, Nginx. And here if I do dash two and just uh, deploy, so you will see one deployment is pending pending and it will take some time and it will yeah here you can see now we have four ports two running deployments are there and two replica sets if you come here below in the pod section uh, here you will see all the details okay so this one is the one pod which just created so because tag is not here like in our previous class we had used tagged nginx and letters so that's why it's like that so uh, this is all about this uh, today's class i hope uh, you got to know about something like this like minikube dashboard so that's it for today and i'll meet you in the next class thank you for watching